try to show them exactly how to pour your own worms. So I'm going to pour the 9 inch U-tail worm from Bear. As you see I have my microwavable glass you know measuring cup. I have the color that I'm going to use and the glitter because I figure I'm going to do a black and blue. And I've also got my my plastic in the jug. So you need to first of all shake it up a little bit because you have to mix it. Then we're going to take the lid off, push down, <laughs> and and then turn us one of them childproof lid things that I tell you that. So we're going to probably do about four ounces. We'll just play around with four ounces right now. And let's just pour it in here until we get to four. Okay, that looks like four, so we'll stop right there. Then we'll do this in spurts. Now me, I, I like to take the slower approach. So I come here to my microwave. And we get it right in here. I put it in the center. Close it up. Now for me, I like to go, like I said, on the slow approach. So my first time, I'm going to do it for a minute. Then we'll go from there because I, I have to do it more than just one time and I don't want to do it a lot at once because you stand a chance of burning it. So we'll go one minute to start with. Okay, the time wasn't right was like I knew it wouldn't be. So after that minute, I checked it. I thought I hit record but I didn't on this. So we're doing it now for 45 seconds. We'll check it out again and see what it looks like. Okay, now after our second, well, our first 45 seconds, I can see that it's getting about right. We'll come over here. I'm going to just set it on something. And take my, my thermometer, which I also use to start with. Which I can see that it's just gelling up some, so we still got to go. About another 45 seconds worth and then we'll check it and go from there okay this looks a lot better we'll get in here stir it up yeah you can see how it's running off real good I'm gonna just leave it right here then like I said I've got four ounces of plastics so we'll start with black one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight. Stop right there and stir it. I'm sure I'll have to go more to get it to what I want. And that's going to be too light for me. So we're going to go another 10 up to 20. Okay, now we're up to 20. Give it another swirl. That looks pretty good, and you can see my temperature is about 320. Now my measuring spoon here is an eighth. So we're going to go about an eighth, a good heap an eighth teaspoon. We'll put it in here. Now we'll give it another swirl to incorporate all of the glitter. And you can use as much or as little on glitter that you want or anything like that. But if you don't like it, you can always remelt it and try again. You know what? I think I want some more black in there. I'm going to put about another five drops. And there goes, so 25 drops to this. Where the thermometer says it's at 300. It's a dab over 100. So me, 
I'm going to nuke it in the microwave again for about 15 seconds, and then we're going to pour. Okay, we're taking it out. I know my temperature is going to be right. So we'll give it another little stir. Bring it over here to where I've already got my mold already clamped. So I'm going to put my injector in, suck it up, and I'm going to extract it back out. Just warm it up. I'm going to inject, suck it up again. Come over to my mold. Push down very easily until it don't go any further because it bottoms out. Let's pop it up. Ease it in to fill up the spruce. Take the rest, put it back into your cup. Now we'll wait about a minute and a half and try and see what we got. Okay, we let it sit about a minute and a half, two minutes. While I was doing this, I was cleaning up my other stuff from the glitter and the color and put it in my unclamp it. See, that's a good, good worm. We'll lay it out where you can see it. Let's see this part here. I will pop this off, and then I'll have to do it in a minute. And then I'll show you the finished product here in a second. I'll have it laid out for you. Okay, here's the finished product, all laid out black and blue. Nine inch U-tail worm. The mold from is from Bear. And over here are some of the 3.75 crazy crawls that I had done earlier today. If you notice, I mean, I just make do with what I have as far as spaces. I don't have a big place to do stuff, so I'm just inside my shed. If you notice, here's like where my molds are over in here. And here's some of the excess from like the injector. And here's from, you know, the spruce and everything that I popped off the worm. And I save those up after I do so many. You know, I remelt those down and the other worms. And that's the microwave. And you can look over here. My tray with my glitters, colorants, and all my stuff like that. And then, like where I was pouring out, if you notice... Yes, it's a metal fold-out chair, and I'll just lay a towel on it. I mean, hey, I make do with what I can. And as you've seen, it is very simple to make your own worms using bear's mold. That injection is the bomb, I'm here to tell you. So, bye-bye, and thanks.